everyone, I'm Janet Anisha Bona. Today we're going to have a maths lesson on the topic sets. We will learn how to list sets using the listing method and how to represent them using Venn diagrams. So, without any further ado, let's get started. What is set? A set is a collection of well-defined and distinct objects called elements. We can list sets using the listing method where all the elements in the set are separated using commas and they are enclosed in second brackets. For example, this is set A and it contains the elements 1, 2 and 3. Here, A is the name of the set and it has the elements 1, 2 and 3. All the elements are separated using commas and they are enclosed in second brackets. Another example, this is set B whose elements are 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. They are enclosed in second brackets. B is the name of the set, whose elements are 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. When we write sets, we don't repeat the elements. Instead of writing set A contains the elements 1, 1, 2, 3, we only write each element once, like 1, 2, 3. Set A contains the elements 1, 2, and 3. And also in sets, there is no order in writing the elements. Set A containing the elements 1, 2, and 3 is the same as set A containing the elements 2, 1, 3. And set A containing 3, 2, 1. We can write them in any order and they would still remain the same. The size of a set or the cardinality of a set is the number of elements in a set. Suppose this is set A and it contains all the even integers less than 10. All the even integers less than 10 are 2, 4, 6 and 8. We will write set A contains the elements 2, 4, 6 and 8 and enclose them in second brackets. The number of sets is denoted by n a. We can see that set a contains 1, 2, 3 and 4 elements. So the size of the set or the cardinality of set a is 4. Two sets are equal if and only if they contain the same exact elements. For example, set A contains the elements 1, 2, and 3. And set B also contains the elements 1, 2, and 3. Here, set A is equal to set B. As a result, number of elements in set A, the size of set A is equal to the size of set B. Empty set or no set is a set containing no elements. It is denoted by empty second brackets or slash zero. Sets can also contain other sets as elements. Now we are going to come to a bit tricky part. If a set contains the empty set as its element, then the number of or the size of that element will be 1. Now the question is why? Because this does not symbolize the empty set itself. It represents a set containing empty set as its element. Hence the size of this set is 1. Let's look another example to make this a bit more clear. Suppose this is set A and it contains the elements 1, 2, 3 and empty set. The size of set A will be 4. We are counting the other elements as well as the empty set as the elements of set A. So. The number of elements in set A will be 4. Hope this makes sense. Universal set is a set that contains all the elements in a given condition. It is denoted by this symbol. Now here we are going to emphasize on the key words 
given condition. We can represent sets using Venn diagrams. First, to represent the universal set, we draw a large rectangle. Then, within the universal set, we draw circles to represent other sets. Suppose, this is a universal set and it contains the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And we have another set, A, which contains the elements 1, 2, and 3. We can represent this using a Venn diagram. We'll write the elements 1, 2, and 3 inside the circle and label it as A. And the rest of the elements we will write within the rectangle but outside the circle. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. This means that all the elements inside this rectangle belongs to the universal set. That means the universal set contains the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Whereas the set A contains only the elements 1, 2, and 3. That's all for today's maths lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. Stay tuned because in our next maths lesson, we are going to learn some more things about sets. So if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you have any questions regarding this video, feel free to comment down below and we'll try to respond as soon as possible. Bye!